Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, burying a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. What's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the tape. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. I seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry. I've done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. What now? Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buying bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. All right, hand it over. Here it is. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. One cotton of blues, Vito. Bingo. There it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues, as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Get that, Vito? Let's go. Caught in the whites. Yeah, that's the one. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here.
old kid Mark. He works for Eddie, too. <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me. Drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster, though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, if the kid's got you for a role model, he's in for a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? tell you it's going like butter today all right this almost makes up for last night almost come on what's better than this you got fresh air good company and you're making a shitload of dough not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam all right, all right. listen if the next few hours or anything like the last few hours all's forgiven there's the veto i know all right we'll be there in a second if you please. Give me a carton of blues. All right. Hand it over. Here it is. Hi. I'll take a box of reds. Carton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons, and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there, and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf, and it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now, and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Jump! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, boy? What do I gotta say? That's what I gotta say. Come on! Hop in that car and let's go! Let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any fast.
Ah, shit. Now what? Shit. We should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him. In pursuit of a hit-and-run driver. Roger that. It's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right. Sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Excuse me. Now right, we gotta meet Steve in front of that crazy horse. The good news is he's gonna help us out. The bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All two grand of it. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of him. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by.
fuck are you doing? Hey, I know how to drive, all right? fucking city to come after us? Calm down. I know what I'm doing. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Hey, take it easy. I'm in a hurry. What are you trying to kill us? What are you worried about? Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Marty? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, yeah. uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What Shut the up, day? kid. I'm talking here. So like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's fucking beautiful! Enough. Let's leave him a little present. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. <laughs> Better teach him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now we go to the foundry. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there.
Hey, how'd you get in here? Followed the fucking yellow brick road. Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! They got guns. Cover me! Bring it on! I don't want to get on your bad side! I'm going in! Alright, Vito, here we go. Don't be so gentle, boys! Go around behind him! Leave some for me, asshole. Ah! 
You okay? Look out! How about this? Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie will be fine. What are we gonna do, just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody, no more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joey, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the fountain. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.
So? Here's the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. How can I help you, sir? Beer? Of course, sir. Are you sure you need another drink, sir? Here you are, sir. Come back any time, sir. We got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar. And make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right. I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday.
ask you some questions. If you don't open the door, we're gonna open it up for you. So open up! This is the police. This is your last warning. Open the goddamn door! Open up, police. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Open up! Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me in a rotten jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. 